Hi there, Siberia from Cats and Cards. So let's see what you're manifesting. This is for anyone that resonates. We're going to get some quick energies out here. Ooh, you're manifesting someone back. I feel here somebody's learning lessons about promiscuity. Um, there could be a return energy. Um, and when I say a return energy, I feel like somebody feels creative around you. They're over so many endings in their life. They could be, um, somebody could have recently lost someone. This is helping you discover your power, your gifts. What are the gifts coming in for the collective? Being able to force your way through the 3D. I see here, somebody is activating like um, their goddess or god energy because the sex style is here. So you're looking very good to a lot of people. Skincare is essential right now, especially important. I feel like self-care is important. There is proof here that there's triggered energy. Somebody could be... Um, uh, working on vitamins, working on health, working on, I see documents and paperwork. It's like paperwork or some type of something you need to get finished is kind of like setting you off. It's like, oh my God, I got to get it done. But you're going to be getting it done. What are the gifts coming in for the collective this week? What are the spiritual, um, the talent gifts? What are the money gifts coming in? I'm going to take all of those. So you're going to be able to get out of depression. I feel like here this is discernment. You can see through lies. You can see through the 3D. You can see through what you need to transmute at this time. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's an Aquarius manifesting at this time. Over the next three to nine days, your manifestations are coming in, especially if it has to do with like um, peace meditation, especially if it has to do with something you're pouring into. I, I see you manifesting a person. They could be a smoker, but I feel here they, they think about you a lot. There's a masculine out here coming into its truest form. Some Somebody knows this too. If you are a feminine, they're going to surprise you this week, um, possibly today or tomorrow. Where I live today is Sunday and this Leo energy is showing up. Leo is the rest of this month. See, I feel like here you're receiving this emotional fulfillment when you learn how to let go. And I'm getting that song, Learn to Love Again. I love that. All right. What does the person on the collective's mind want to say? What does the person on the collective's mind want to say at this time? Yeah, this is energetic shift. This is a lot of change. They want to take a gamble to come towards you. They're in their feminine energy right now. This is celebratory energy uh, collective. I feel here somebody does want to celebrate, get out. This is receiving recognition too. You could have recently been to like some type of wedding or award ceremony. Um, this um, Now watch out because I'm getting energetic clashing. Like it's always nice to celebrate. It's always nice to have fun. But what I see here is this could be a few distractions over the next four to five days. Just remember if you're celebrating or have a good time, um, keep those blinders, those spiritual blinders on where you can still um, do your thing, get done what you need to be done. What does the collective need to know as far as um, surprise messages and finances? What does the collective need to know as far as surprise messages and finances? Right now is um, this sit down energy. And I really feel this strongly because it's like there's excitement. There's freedom in rising up, but there is freedom in rising up when you're taking care of your, how do you say it? Your mission. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Sagittarius. Something's definitely being healed this week, especially if you went through a recent breakup. Mastery. Look at this. I, I feel here spirit recognizes what you're doing. These are achievements and mastery. Over the next six days, I feel like that you're you're getting, if you have um, something significant that needs to be done um, as far as paperwork or errands, it's going to get done. Um, I feel here spirit is going to make something happen for you because this wish fulfillment card is right in my hand. Mm-hmm. Heavy Aries energy. There's something about a sunset or something about nighttime that's significant. I feel like here, problems try to arise, and I'm getting that trouble ahead, oh, trouble behind. Don't get emotional right now. This is meant 
for you to ascend through. It's not meant to break you. There's cat and dog energy here too. Why do I get fighting like cats and dogs? You got a puppy over here tearing up this yarn and you got a cat just watching it. So it's like somebody's watching somebody self-destruct or somebody's watching others do self-destructive behavior. It is vital right now that you keep on those spiritual blinders and don't get distracted from your purpose or your path. <laughs> I know it's tough. All right, what's coming in this week for surprise? Good karma. Ooh, look, shocking. Tuesday significant for somebody going into that new chapter of their life. I feel like this is fierce. This is assertive energy. This is also fire energy. Fire energy moves in days. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries. You have those placements. I feel here somebody is a warrior, a leader. The stubborn energy is not rude or tact list energy. The stubborn energy is just getting it done. Five, five, five on the clock right now. You also are going through a state of reinvention spiritually. Somebody's going to be a leader here. There goes that Saturn energy trying to come out. See, this is very emotional, egotistical energy. I feel like you know what you know and what's understood doesn't need to be explained. You could be dealing with a water sign, trying to get rid of, um, the old and somebody could be having psychic dreams or weird dreams this week and it's just showing you the future there's this fake apology out here I, um why am i getting shampoo press get you out of my hair there's a there's a masculine that's coming in that's always with the same song and dance um it could be an aries it could be a scorpio it could be a taurus Um, what is the outcome? You already know what the outcome is. You're manifesting it. Whatever outcome is here is because you're manifesting it. So remember, I, again, stick to those spiritual blinders next 72 hours. There's opportunity here. So remember, do not cheat yourself out of opportunity thinking about what you don't want. Think about all the things you do want. Um, think about specifics, about hair color. Think about your power. Think about how you're going to bring it in. You bring it in by exuding what you want. So that is what Spirit has for you. Please like, subscribe. Thanks, Collective.